You guys, welcome back. Today is the day that your girl gets her shit together. Welcome back for another fitness update, body update, veganism, you know, meal prep, fitness type of video. I did a little chit chat with you guys last night on Snapchat and I was totally just kidding. But I was like, guys, I need to do a video about getting back on track and I'm literally gonna title it, getting my fat ass back on track. So I don't know what the title you're seeing is so far, but we're gonna do some super healthy meal prep today. I'm gonna share with you guys my weight, my body fat percentage. Um, the meal prep is all plant-based, very affordable meals for maximum weight loss. You guys know I recently got out of a relationship and I was going out to eat so much with that person. Uh, so I also recently told you that I hired a coach who is incredible, uh, but I only followed the macros she gave me very leniently like the past, honestly, like four to eight, four to six weeks. I've been like very on and off, but the, this video is just letting you guys know that I'm so remotivated and I'm super excited to just feel so much better. I feel pretty bloated right now. You know, eating out so much will do that to you. And I know a lot of you guys have requested more meal prep. So I have a grocery haul for you for of some super affordable stuff. Uh, the meal prep and then I might throw in a full body workout at the end of this video so it'll probably be a really long vlog thank you for watching I'm super excited to have you guys so first thing we're gonna jump into is I got another order from Thrive Market which I believe I showed a full unboxing of this on snapchat but I always want to put it in the YouTube videos because I know a bunch of you don't follow me there so if you've never ordered any groceries or like cooking items from Thrive Market where have you been? I'm really happy lately to see them kind of gaining some more recognition on social media because they are an incredible, incredible company. If you guys are gonna support anyone online to purchase things, please, please support them. I saw one of my other YouTube friends make a video where she got to visit their headquarters and have an interview with the CEO, I believe, and he is just such a genuinely good dude. They donate meals to families in need, to teachers in need. Like, if you're gonna give your money somewhere, like, please support them, they're great. I always have some type of discount or whatever promo offer they have in the description box for you guys. So it's groceries and things that you would already need anyways that you would, you know, regularly shop somewhere else for, and they sell everything to you guys at a wholesale cost. So they cut out the middleman. Everything is super cheap. It's pretty much like Costco pricing. So they have food, seasoning, cooking items. Um, I've done a few other hauls on my channel. I always buy things that I would normally buy in bulk anyways for like meal preps or for my son. So I'm gonna show you guys everything that I got today. So on their site, each item is significantly less than you would pay at a grocery store. You're getting everything at a wholesale cost. So I know like pretty much my entire audience loves when I recommend things on a budget or you're on a budget or you have multiple kids that you need to pay for. So please just check out their site, you guys. I'll have their info below. But if you're curious what they offer, uh, what I picked up this time was a huge apple cider vinegar with the mother, unpasteurized. I love to just mix this with lemon water in the mornings and it does aid and just like a natural weight loss remedy. Also some organic white jasmine rice, which I'll probably be using in the meal prep. So got some penne pasta for my son. This was literally like $2 on their site. Like, it's just so cheap. I'm, yummy! Christian's over here. An organic brand like this at Whole Foods or something would be like $5.99, $5.49, so it's definitely a lot cheaper. Also, since I've recently switched back to plant-based, instead of using cheese, like there's a pizza that I wanna make that's all vegan, um, I heard the nutritional yeast is really good and it gives the texture of cheese, but it is vegan, of course, so they had this huge size container of this on their site, and I've also found this very hard to find. Besides Thrive Market, I've only seen it on Amazon, but it's cheaper on Thrive. So if you've heard a lot of YouTubers, like vegan YouTubers talk about this, you can get it on there. Then also for a snack on the go, I picked up some of my favorite coconut cashew bars. These are vegan, soy free, dairy free, and paleo as well. I think I talked about these like a year ago when I first found Thrive Market. Uh, I had, I ordered the cashew ones and the dark chocolate ones. Let me tell you, the cashew ones are way better. I've reordered these like three times. They're just so, so good. Um, for one bar, it's 220 cal. And yeah, again, totally vegan and paleo, so these are just really good for like on the go. Also picked up some organic applesauce for little man. He loves this. That's another thing. On their site, they have tons of specialty items. So they have like a paleo section, um, organic section, vegan section, stuff like that. And then I've also mentioned this on my channel. It's my absolute favorite vegan avocado oil spread. So you can replace it with like, if you would normally use mustard or mayonnaise. This is from Primal Kitchen, same company who makes these. And this is bomb. If you guys, okay, if you've never shopped on Thrive ever and you wanna make your very first order, I mean, everything is good, 
but put these two in your cart. Like very first two items you must purchase, holy grails, taste amazing, and super affordable. So yeah, that's what I picked out this time for my little haul from them. I have their website listed below. Please go check it out, you guys, and just read their mission, and like if you support the type of company they are, they're really genuine people who I believe deserve the support, and you're gonna buy groceries on these items anyway, so you might as well get them for a little bit cheaper. They always give me some type of discount for my subscribers, so whatever is the current promo, I will have down there. So we're gonna hop into all the meal prep, and then I'll see you guys later in the video for the workout. So we're gonna be doing three different meals today, you guys. These are kind of my go-to, get back on track, real healthy, like portioned out meals that I love. I'm very fortunate that my son likes these as well, so they're really, really easy to make. So first, you guys have seen me use my rice cooker a million times. I'm using one cup of brown rice. I got that huge bag from Costco. And then two cups of water. Um, all you do is turn on the Aroma rice cooker with the power button and then you literally just press brown rice and shut it and it's going to cook for you. A lot of people ask why I use this instead of the stove top. I just think it's a little bit more fluffy and it just tastes better. So for the veggies, I'm going to do green beans and also shaved Brussels sprouts. I ate these so much last summer and loved them. Um, so don't worry, nothing is wrong with my pan, it's just old. I was spraying olive oil spray on the bottom and then kind of doing half and half of the veggies. I had already preheated the oven to 350. I personally like to just season everything with garlic salt and then Mrs. Dash, I believe that was the Italian or the garlic lovers, it's pretty much like the neutral one that you can put on anything. So I put those in the oven for 15 minutes at 375, I believe. So for the first meal, we're gonna do a Asian vegetable stir fry and we're gonna do smoked tofu. So I turned on two uh, different sections of the stove to be able to cook these at the same time. I just popped in all the veggies here. My hands were totally clean and I already sprayed the pan. I'm gonna add some um, low sodium soy sauce on top because we're gonna make this kind of a plant-based stir fry. Again, you can double up these recipes based on how many people you have in your family, but since I work from home, I only make a few meals so nothing goes bad. So I just chopped up the tofu in little squares as you see there. I find that it cooks more evenly this way. This pan was a bit small. I switched it out for a different one later, but I put the same soy sauce on top and I put a lid over that and I believe the tofu took about 15 minutes because I like it to come out really crispy and the soy sauce just gives it an amazing flavor. So once the veggies were done, I set those aside. They only took like five to seven minutes because I was doing the burner on high. Then I switched the tofu into the bigger pan just so they could all cook evenly. As you can see, it's getting like really smoked there with the with the soy sauce and it turns out just tasting absolutely great. So I put the lid on here and I believe I cooked it just for like three to four extra minutes. Then after 45 minutes, all the rice was done. So because I am counting macros, I portioned out half a cup of brown rice in each meal. So the veggies, I don't really count. They kind of count as like zero calories. So I just put tons of veggies around and then I had already portioned out half a pack of that tofu. So I put all that in the first meal prep container. I was trying to make it beautiful for, you know, Instagram didn't really work, but um, yeah, now everything is done. So I'm just literally packing up my Tupperwares and I'm good. So again, personally, I'm just doing half a cup of brown rice in each, kind of unlimited veggies or whatever fits, and then another half a cup of whatever type of protein I wanna go with. These are actually the beefless crumbles from Gardein. They're totally vegan. Um, they might also be paleo. I got mine from Albertsons and they kind of give the taste of chicken or steak if you are just switching to a plant-based diet and you kind of still want that texture. So I was just putting everything in the meal prep containers and I only made about five, six meals, like I said, because I can make more throughout the week. But if you guys like these recipes, just double or triple them up. Oh, and I was putting those in frozen because once you reheat, all you have to do to heat those up is put them in the microwave anyways and there's no point of cooking it twice. So the beefless crumbles I did put in the Tupperwares frozen. They all turned out super, super good and my son completely just loved everything as well. All right, so I ended up filming that last meal prep clip for you guys super late last night and I didn't make it to the gym. So it's actually the next morning right now. I wanted to sit down and do the chit chat portion of the video. I've gotten so many requests on Snapchat to go into m multiple things uh, regarding like my personal fitness and just weight loss journey and I got a bunch of repetitive questions um, from you guys. So I knew this was gonna be a long video but I wanna have a little chit chat portion right here and just tell you guys honestly like where I'm at. I know I have a lot of new subscribers, but if you have followed my channel for a while, over the past like two, three years, my weight has definitely gone up and down. Uh, two summers ago, I lost like 30 pounds and I was so strict on what I ate and going to the gym twice a day, but that wasn't realistic for me to keep that up. I feel like that was kind of borderline unhealthy and I did look really good, but it was very hard for me to keep that image up. Also because I had totally fell in love with someone at the time and I more did it because I wanted him to think that I looked great. 
so I have since realized that you got to do it for yourself a million percent otherwise it's not gonna stick um, and I am happy to say that I shared with you guys back in college I had like some binge eating issues I haven't binged in literally in forever I do overeat and I do eat processed food and stuff like that I'm just gonna keep it real um, you know at times and I reap the results like I feel crappy so I have finally found something as you guys know I talk about it on snapchat that works for me and that I have seen work for countless people and that is counting macros it is a bit tedious at the beginning kind of when you're learning about it I know most people think it's really overwhelming that's why I recommend to have someone a professional not just someone on Instagram or Facebook who says oh I'm a coach and can give you a generic plan um, you guys know I'm currently working with someone named Leah who is incredible she has checked in on me so many times and kind of at the beginning when I hired her a few months ago I thought I knew how to count macros but she went over every single detail of everything and it's so much different you guys I want to emphasize it's so much different than going on a generic website typing in what are my macros for weight loss and they kind of give you a generic answer she is actually a women's fat loss specialist, so she's able to tell you like whatever that, um, I'm not sure exactly what the equation is for the weight loss macro, she does it like down to the point two to the point four, does the equation so specific for your body type, how much you work out, what kind of foods you're allergic to, if you're vegan, like she is incredible. And I don't know, you guys know I'm all about supporting other hard workers, other boss babes. I've kind of, I knew her for a few years, a while back, and I just like sat back and watched on my Instagram. I watched her page at how hard she worked to build her business. She's never asked me for a shout out, like she is incredible. I love giving, helping give business to people who deserve it. So anywho, I told her this past uh, few weeks that I was, you know, going out to eat a lot. You guys know in my relationship we were going out to eat a lot, which wasn't wasn't great and I wasn't sticking to the macro plan that she gave me the first two weeks that she first gave it to me I lost over seven pounds so I know the formula works I'm just being super honest and telling you guys the reason I feel bloated now and not at my best is because I haven't been sticking to it but that is the whole point of this video that I'm super re-motivated to get back on it and that's all I can do I've always like promised myself that I would be honest and genuine with you guys about it and you can tell in the videos like when my face looks slimmer and then when my face looks real chunky like if I gain weight or I lose weight, no matter how the roller coaster goes on my journey, I want to share it with you guys because so many of you, I'm sure, go through that. I can't tell you how many diets I've started and stopped, how many, you know, different workout plans and so many things I've tried over the years and felt like I have been failing and that's not a good feeling. That's also another cool thing of her program. It's called LK Fit. They've got a Facebook group where every single day they do like we all share recipes and if someone is struggling to hit a certain category in their macros we all help each other with how uh, she emails us free recipes anything on her website is like free content for you so that's probably the number one snapchat question I got is what method am I using to lose weight and I'm a million percent sticking to counting the macros I recognize that I haven't been as consistent on it as possible and I know that's why I feel crappy so I'm super excited to stick to it for a consistent amount of time and share my results with you guys and just wake up and feel so much better um, I always have her information in the description box she's super super affordable I highly recommend at least for like a month or two at the beginning to get you educated you have a legit professional like that to help you calculate your numbers and everything so yeah that's the approach I'm sticking to I do have a trip to New York at the end of September um, so I'm gonna stick to my macros a million percent for the next four weeks and it's not that I'm gonna lose a significant amount of weight in four weeks, maybe like five to seven pounds, if that would be super cool, but I know I can decrease all this bloating I've caused, the sodium retention, everything. So I'm gonna keep you guys updated on my Snapchat story and my Insta story of what I'm eating. That's another thing a lot of you are asking if I'm sticking to the plant-based eating, which I totally am. Um, that's another thing I feel like I've tried to be like, sometimes I get flack in my what I eat in a day videos. If because last year I tried being vegan and then I was just super honest I was like this is hard you guys like I'm not used to this and I went back to eating meat now I'm trying to be plant-based again I think we should all just support each other I've said this before even if you take little steps towards cutting meat out a few days a week that's great and you're still helping and you're still helping your own body and your health but I've actually done pretty well the past two months with myself and my son elim completely eliminating dairy and meat which I know uh, is the absolute best thing for the environment and for our health and I just feel really bad giving Christian meat after researching how horrible it is and how quickly the effects hit your body and like hit your internal organs it's the effects of meat I'm not gonna go into it because people get so crazy in the comments but that's the 
choice we have made. Um, so everything I showed like in this beginning grocery haul was all plant-based and I'm just really trying hard to stick to that. Um, another question I get is working out. I still go to the gym four to five times a week. I love the gym. I love working out. I know for a fact because why I am not at like my goal weight yet is all on me for not sticking to my macros and being super consistent with my eating at times. But the working out I've never had a problem with. Some people just hate the gym and they can't get themselves there. I love it. I love the endorphin rush. I love cardio. I love lifting. I love feeling strong. So me pushing myself to go to the gym has really never been an issue. It's more just been in on raining down on being more strict on eating super, super healthy. I did restart last week taking the Royal Queen. It's just the normal fat burner that I take from First Form. I've mentioned it so many times, but that's what I used a few summers ago when I dropped all that weight as well. The best thing I find with that is more energy throughout the day and that it really helps curb the cravings. I'm someone who likes to eat sugary things and like dessert type items at night and that really helps to like calm all that down. So as long as I've filled my body with the right amount of calories for the day of healthy food and I haven't under eaten, I will still be able to have whatever dessert item that I want that fits into my macros, but I won't feel the urge to like binge or go over or have tons of sugary foods. So they sell this in a three pack, um, which is what I used back then whenever I dropped all that weight, or you can purchase it separately. I know tons of you guys have mentioned to me you're on a budget, so you can get this by itself. I always have a link for free shipping, which I'll have below. And then my Snapchat fam knows every day I go to work out, I post this. This is my secret weapon. It's the Megawatt V2 pre-workout. I have probably tried, you guys, 20 pre-workouts since uh, high school. I have felt everything from jitters to headaches to feeling dizzy to feeling nauseous. I would never recommend anything like that to you guys. This is the best pre-workout I've ever used for energy, endurance, mental focus. It helps me sweat more. Um, it's pretty normal on the price range based along like com and compared to other companies and you do get the free shipping. I always tell people just make sure you take half a scoop the very first time to assess how your body does with the caffeine. I never want to say I recommended to give someone way too much. My body is used to it so I'm able to take one scoop and I don't like, I think if you weigh a lot less you definitely need to take like half a scoop if you're around like the 100 pound, like 130 pound range because your girl's a little bit more chunky right now. Uh, one scoop of that is not gonna like affect my body in any negative way. I just find so much more of a lasting energy, even when I leave the gym, cause I'll only be there for like an hour. For like the next few hours, I'm ready to go. I come home, I shower, I'm pumped up, I'm good to go. So yeah, that's what I'm taking. Be super strict on my macros. I took a picture of my body today and I'm excited to take one in exactly four weeks when I go to New York. I know for a fact from when I've stuck to my macros in the past that my stomach has gone down a lot, like I said with the bloating and the sodium retention. So I'm excited to get rid of all that and just fly out there and feel a little bit more confident in my pants and all that, you know? So let me know what you guys wanna see. I have put up some full days of eating the past few weeks. Some people love those, some people don't. Let me know if you wanna see those. Be sure to follow my social medias because I usually post when I find like a new drink I love or recipes or what I'm eating throughout the day. Um, and yeah, if any of you guys are going to New York when I'm going for Gen Beauty NY, let me know, leave a comment. I only go to events to meet you guys and I haven't gone to one in a while just based on my son, but my brother actually has a break from work and he wants to watch Christian. So I'm like, okay, I need to go. Like I have so many of my YouTube friends going, so I'm actually like super excited. So yeah, overall, just hope you guys enjoyed this little fitness chit chat update meal prep grocery haul. I'll have everything I talked about linked in the description box. Please go ahead and check there for more info and be sure to subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in the next video.